The main reason why it was so difficult to keep up the flow of supplies was the chaotic state of French roads, bridges and railways owing to air bombardment and German demolitions. We had to repair roads and railways. We had to supply the armies and bring food and fuel to France and Belgium. The German garrisons were still holding out at Brest, Saint-Nazaire and Lorient and were still blocking the entrance to Bordeaux. We still had only one regular port, Cherbourg. All the rest of our supplies had to come through the Mulberry Harbour at Aramanche. The same skill and imagination of British engineering science which built the Mulberry Harbour also produced Operation Pluto, P-L-U-T-O, Pipelines Under the Ocean. Thanks to this invention, petrol could be pumped direct from Britain to France, a million gallons a day. On these huge floating drums, known as HMS conundrums, flexible steel pipes were laid across the channel soon after D-Day to Cherbourg. Later, more than 500 miles of these three-inch pipes were laid between Dungeness and Boulogne. It was thanks to this brilliant scheme that the Allied armies were able to resume their advance. <laughs> 